Let's get a check on that Friday morning forecast. There is a lot to talk about here, and we've got storm. Storm team. Storm team. Storm team meteorologist <laughs> Nate Harrington joining us on this bright and early Monday morning. All right, Nate, we're talking yeah. Alberto. We are talking Alberto, and we will be talking about Alberto for the next three days or so. That's the impacts for us. Uh, rainfall, wind, could also see a severe weather risk. We'll break it all down for you right now. We're starting off cloudy in central Alabama, all across the state. The BJCC camera over Birmingham, checking out. Lots of clouds. No rainfall just yet, but we've got a band of some heavier rain now moving closer to the Birmingham metro. This whole band basically will traverse central Alabama over the next couple of hours or so. And then we've got yet another area of rainfall we're looking at near Columbus, Georgia, near the plains of Auburn. That will move through as well. So we're going to see a couple of different waves of rain, several different waves of rain today, and the chances for some heavy rain and also a severe weather risk too that will break down in a second. This is subtropical storm Alberto. Looking a little bit better on the satellite and radar imagery, but there's still a lot of dry air getting wrapped up into this storm. That's why it did not strengthen overnight, and it slowed down overnight as well. A lot of rain from the Carolinas all the way through Alabama, down off the coast, and another plume of, of showers and thunderstorms off the South Florida coast. So this is a pretty expansive storm, a lot of impacts in a lot of different places. Alberto with winds of 65 miles per hour moving northwest at 7, like we said, slowed down a bit, but the pressure, the actual strength of the storm, did drop. That means it increased in strength just a little bit, so the wind stayed at around 65 miles per hour. The track takes it through the Florida Panhandle this afternoon by noon to 1 o'clock. I think it makes landfall anywhere between, say, Panama City Beach and Destin, then moves north into South Alabama later on tonight and into tomorrow. Early morning, it'll be south of Montgomery with winds of 40 miles per hour. That's when we expect it to decrease in strength down to a tropical depression. It doesn't really matter. The impacts will still be the same. It moves across Alabama, actually up Alabama, up 65, really kind of cuts the state in half and then turns into just a remnant low pressure area with a lot of rain in the Tennessee and Ohio River Valley. So let's talk about that rain. We will get, like we said, several different waves of showers and maybe some thunderstorms for today. Heavier rainfall will exist in some spots, especially in East Alabama. Then, as Alberto, or what's left of it, moves north on Tuesday morning, it will drop another good area of rainfall. It looks like a good amount of rain in the east and the west, and the severe weather risk. That will be at its highest once that area of low pressure moves in. Tuesday afternoon through the evening, more bands of rain as Alberto moves north, and still a lot of lingering showers on Wednesday as well with Alberto. So a severe weather risk, mainly for East Alabama, anywhere east of the center of that low pressure, that's where the highest area or the strongest area of uh, severe weather risk will be. A marginal risk Monday afternoon through Tuesday. What are we talking about? A low end tornado risk. Spin up tornadoes will be weak, however, could do some damage. Gusty winds also possible could lead to some downed trees and power lines. And East Alabama also has a flash flood watch through 7 o'clock on Tuesday. Most folks should expect at least two inches of rain out of this, and I think most of East Alabama could see. Anywhere from three to four to maybe five inches of rain. So a weather aware day tomorrow. Serious consequences for uh, weather aware day for today, I should say. The weather alert day for tomorrow. I think that's when we see the best flash flooding and also the highest risk for severe weather. Rain continues on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. More typical summertime weather. Finally, Alberto out of here by midweek.